Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. In today's video we are going to be looking at a new coin which I've just picked up from Westminster and along with that we're going to be looking at some really nice coins which are picked up from the bank for face value. Okay so before I crack on with today's video I just want to say a big thank you to Caledonian Coins for inviting me along to the channel. Uh, we recently filmed uh, the first pilot episode of his new Come Find With Me series and it was an absolute privilege to film with Callie. I had such a ball uh, filming all the content for that uh, my video and Callie's as well. It was just fantastic and uh, we eventually got there. It was a trial and error um, a lot of the time. But yeah, it was a, an experience in itself to work with Callie. So again, if you are new to the channel, um, please um, click that link above just there. Head over to Caledonian Coins, watch his videos, subscribe to his channel and uh, be sure to leave him lots of likes. So again, once again Callie, thank you so much for having me on your channel and uh, I wish you a massive success with this series. I can't wait to see who's next and it's going to be fantastic watching, it really, really is. So Caledonian Coins, peachy mate, thank you very much. So on with the video. So upon watching Lafty's video of uh, receiving this, of course I had to head over to Westminster and of course purchase this. So we have here that we will remember them, £5 coin from uh, Bailiwick of Jersey. Bailiwick, that's how I say it. I think some people might say it differently. But there we go, of course it is the Poppy £5 coin. And it is an absolute stunner. Of course this only cost me a fiver, so I couldn't turn that down. I was straight on the website as soon as I heard laughter. Um, mention about this coin and it is one that i really did want to have in my collection so of course it's a colored coin it's five pounds and of course we've got we will remember them inscribed on the top just there on the reverse of course we've got the queen's portrait irb 2020 and it's gorgeous lovely shine on that i do like this coin um of course with it being only a fiver i had to get it it's an absolute bargain for a coloured coin, but I mean, I think on this side, it to me, it just looks more like a more like a token coin. I think the Queen's head's just raised that little bit too much. It just looks weird. I can't quite pinpoint what's um, annoying me about this coin. Of course, I love this side. That's absolutely gorgeous. But this side, I don't know. There's just something about it. It just doesn't look right. But again, it's another stunning coin. And of course, uh, Queen Elizabeth just there as well. But really fantastic. For £5, you can't, you can't go wrong. And I'm, I'm not going to grumble, but yeah, the, the Queen's head just looks a bit weird to me. I can't quite pinpoint what it is. But I'm never going to grumble at a, a face value £5 coin from Westminster. So um, I got this. I didn't get any uh, trading cards, the little scratch cards. I didn't get one um, this time round. So uh, maybe I'll uh, strike lucky next time. But again, for five pounds, you really can't go wrong. So I'm gonna whack that down there. We'll put you on top just there, actually. So there we go. Very happy with that indeed. Okay, so next up is uh, earlier on in the week, I went to do some banking, and uh, I'm always asking the cashiers if they've had any old coins handed in. And uh, as luck turns out, they actually did for a change. And I've not had any um, old coins. Um, for quite some time now from the bank but you know i think i really struck lucky um this time around so these um he actually gave me for free he just chucked me these so uh i'm not going to say where my bank is or who the cashier is in case he gets in trouble but these he actually chucked me for free he just whacked them in the bag and said here you go you can have these so we've got a, a two shillings from 1962 and they're in really good condition That's well chuffed. I do like my shillings. So yeah, we've got that one. And next up, I think it might be the same date actually. Yeah, again from 1962, another two shillings. This one's, uh, the condition wise, is not so great with this one. We've got some toning, some marks across the coin just there, and a lot of dirt, but uh, I don't clean my coins, so into the flips, they went just like this. Oh, it's coming unstuck a little bit. Yeah, I was really happy with these um, to get these two coins um, for pennies, really. Yep, 
snuck in the bag I was uh, yeah, well chuffed with that so uh, a big thank you to uh, the bank cashier who shall not be named for them two coins now these ones I did get for face value um, I only paid 50p for these and the first one was this so a lovely candy tuft 50p coin from Gibraltar 1988 and uh, this is easily one of my favourite coin designs ever I do love this design I've got quite a few of these up in my collection but you know when you get these at face value you cannot say no and that's just an absolute stunner and the condition is really good as well apart from a few marks just down the bottom there and some scratches here the coins in really good condition and I'm really chuffed to have another one in my collection so yeah all I did is pay 50p for this. Happy days. Sorry, Dan. Force, force a habit. <laughs> okay, now the uh, final coin that I got from the bank was this. So, of course, we've got the old style D Day Landings 50p coin from 1994. And again, this coin is in really good condition. Whoever had these um, must have cashed in the collection of um, large 50p coins because there was a whole bag of these I'm pretty sure there was a date one there but I just you know I was in a bit of a rush so I just picked out um, my favourites and again we had this 1994 D-Day and it is in fantastic condition they've been really well looked after whoever had these coins and this is yeah easily my favourite design on a 50p coin it's just gorgeous the attention to detail and it is it's, it's great to see um, this design on the older 50p coins of course it was re-released um, on the smaller 50p coin for the annual set uh, for the uh, for the military set shall I say but this one is just an absolute stunner and uh, it's one coin that I'm always happy to pick up for face value so really really chuffed with that a nice little result from the bank it's always worth asking um, every time I go in to do a bit of banking it's always worth asking Especially if you have to get some change, have you had any old coins handed in? And nine times out of ten, if, you, if you've got a good um, relationship to the cashiers or the bank staff there, they're more than happy to have a little rummage, you know, and it's really good to ask. If you don't get, you don't ask. That's always my philosophy. And uh, in this case, yeah, top trumps. I was really happy with that lot. So there we have it for another video. If you did enjoy it, please leave me a like. And of course, if you want to leave me a comment in the box below, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. And of course, if you press that notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this. But just look at them two absolute crackers. So again, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin, if you take the time to look.